Hey guys, Brick Queen here with this awesome new Lego Ninjago set to review for you guys. This one is set number 70734. It is the Master Wu Dragon with 575 pieces. It looks awesome! So let's go ahead and check it out. So here is the Master Wu Dragon and also a little tea farm or really more like a little gate to a tea farm is what it seems like. Um, and we do have the arrow blade from this set sitting right here. It's kind of cool. It's, you know, the clear one. It's kind of got a gray tint to it um, since, you know, I guess because Cole's in this set, so they tried to make it a little bit more like him. Um, it's also a nice little sticker piece up there that kind of looks like Wu having tea. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to set that aside. We also have, like I said, Cole in this set. And he's got a really nice outfit, some really cool printing. And there's his face. And no second face, as you can see, it's just the one. But still, really cool minifigure. I like the new version of the, the ninjas there. So there's Cole. You also have a dog here. This is kind of cool. Um, and for some reason, the dog has a crossbow attached to the side of it, which is very extremely unusual. <laughs> but uh, okay, we're just going to kind of go with that. Um, and of course the dragon, but let me kind of uh, show you some of the other things first. This I think is really cool. These are um, screamers. Um, I think they're all called the same thing, all the ones that look like this. And it has ghost poison in this little uh, bottle here. That's why, I guess that's why they decided to make this piece sparkly uh, for that. But it's kind of cool, um, you know, he sprays uh, people with the ghost poison and turns them into ghosts. That's what he's trying to do to Cole in this set, uh, which I would like to see, you know, ghost versions of the ninjas. Uh, I think it'd be kind of cool. Um, and then we do have several ghosts in the set, like this one right here, which looks really cool. Um, his name is Hackler, and he's got a, a pretty cool shield there, uh, which I'm going to take away from him so we can see him better. And this awesome sword looks really cool. So here he is though, and this looks awesome. Look at the back there. And so if you shine the light through, it kind of makes his face glow a little bit. And then there's you know his regular face there. Kind of looks like he has fangs. So pretty cool minifigure. And I'll kind of set him over here. And here's another ghost. This one is actually called the Soul Archer. Uh, which is kind of extremely scary sounding, but anyway, there's his mask that he wears, and you can see he's kind of got an uh, older man face there. And let me take his weapons away from him for a minute so you can see what he looks like. I really like these new um, ghost tail pieces that they've uh, designed. It looks really cool, and they stand really well, as you can see. Um, and let me go ahead and take this armor piece off. This armor is really cool looking. Um, it's got the holes in it to make it more ghostly. But anyway, go ahead and put this back on so you can see what he looks like. There's the front and then there's the back. So really awesome many figures in this set. And then we have this little cart over here, which this guy is supposed to have. Um, he's supposed to be controlling the cart. Um, so there's, you know, the front of it basically, or I guess technically that'd be the back, um, since you have like, you know, that there and all. Um, you can fold this down if you want to. There's not really any purpose in it, but you can. Um, and also if you push this, it will actually launch these little discs out. And these are printed pieces. These discs are, if I can get a hold of one. And it looks like a ghost face. You get three of them in the set, and how you launch them, like I said, is just pushing this. And that one is completely gone now. It is launched off the table, but it's really easy to load back. You just put it right inside there, and then push that again, which I don't want to lose another one, so I'm going to stop that and just set that back over there. And this is the, the other ghost you get in the set, and this one is just named Pitch. And I'll take his hat off so you can see his face. And of course he has a pitchfork there. And he has some nice see-through legs. And let me take his little 
mask off so you can see his face. Because instead of a clear head, he has a black face, unlike the other ghosts. But I believe he's supposed to have been turned uh, to a ghost just recently by a screamer. Then there's the back. But some really cool characters here. And of course, now we get to the Master Wu dragon here. Which, of course, everybody else already had a dragon, so why not give Master Wu a dragon? He has some really cool wings. Um, I really like the way they're designed with the gold on there. It looks awesome. We have um, his little teapot sitting here, um, which is kind of cool. And it's kind of got flames coming out of it. And then here's the head of the dragon, which really, really, really reminds me of the never-ending story. Um, just... If you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about, I'm sure. Uh, you can open the mouth like this, and he's kind of got, you know, like, whiskers, I guess is what it's supposed to be. And, you know, the legs. He's also carrying teacups here, um, you know, because apparently it's got a lot to do with tea. Um, kind of odd to me, but anyway. Um, and of course, you know, you've got all the joints that you can move like that. And then here's the tail. He has a really thin, skinny tail, which... I think looks a little odd, but I think my favorite thing on here is the face looking like the never-ending story. Uh, but anyway, um, we also have, of course, Sensei Wu sitting up here. I almost missed him sitting there. Um, go ahead and take his weapon away and his hat so you can see him a little bit better. Um, he has a really nice uh, printed outfit now, which I think looks really, really cool. And you take his beard away also. So you can see the printing on it better. So it looks really good. And then there's the back. It's even got little ninja stars in his belt there behind him. So I think this is a really awesome set. You've got a lot of uh, awesome characters and awesome pieces in it. And uh, with the set having 575 pieces, uh, it's really a good deal because it's only it only costs about $40. And usually um, a set with this many pieces would be 50 or 60. So it's a pretty good deal for what it is. Uh, but anyway, let me know your thoughts about it in the comments below. And I'll see you guys later.